Hi friends, in this video, let's talk about one important concept, difference between union and union all. Or what is the purpose of union and union all? See, looks like both are the same purpose but having their own uniqueness while running in the SQL Server Management Studio. The purpose of union is little different. It, it looks like a similar to the other uh, keyword in the SQL Server. So let me talk about union command is the one which helps us to club the data between the two tables. It clubs the data between the two tables while clubbing while clubbing it is going to eliminate the duplicates in the tables let us say i have a record one the same record i have in the other table two so when i try to club the data between these two tables so i'll i don't get two records in the result set i'll get only one record it means that it gives you the distinct records between the two tables so let me go to the SQL Server. So here, if you see, I have two tables. Table one contains a with a record one, rec one. So table two, it contains a record two, rec two, record two, or let us say record one itself. Now, when I club the data between table one and table two. So as a result in the union, it gives you the distinct values between these two tables. That time I will get result as result as rec1 only, record1 only because it gives you the distinct values when I go for union. But when you go to the union all, it simply it simply clubs the data. It does not look for the record existence in the other tables. It means that when I go to union all, when I go to union all, it simply clubs the data. It simply clubs the data and it, it will give you the result as it is. Now in this in this uh, scenario, I will get two records. One is record one comma one is record one itself. It means that total I will get two rows. But when I go to the union result, when I go to union result, so here I will get only one record. It means that one row. It means that it will give you the distinct rows between the two tables. Distinct rows between the two tables. So that is the difference between this union and union all. Let me show you practically how to work with union and union all. So let me go to the new query. So there I have two tables. So let me show you first the structure of the tables. Select star from EMP2. If you see this, so this is a table which contains ID employee, employee name, salary, joining date, department number, job code, MG or ID, bonus and gender. So instead of star, let me put the column names here. Let me get the column names by using a short key Alt F1. So if you need how to set up short keys in the SQL Server Management Studio, so I have done earlier one video how to configure short keys in the SQL Server on our own short keys in SQL Server on our own so I can give like a control one for uh, uh, select query and all I can give it so I will keep this video in the description section please watch if you require so let's go back to the concept so let's go let's uh, use a short key alt f1 to see the structure of the table let's copy all the columns rather than writing manually so let's now put a comma in between yeah. 
So now I have these many columns in the employee 2. Let's run this. Yes, I have these many columns. Now let me make it as in a single row rather than keeping that many rows. Yes, let's come here. Okay, so let's keep this. Yeah, so now if you see this, this is the final query. Now let me go to the other table. Let me show you the other table as well. The name of the table is EMP. So this table is also having the same columns with the same um, uh, definitions. And if you see, this table contains eight records with around uh, six, seven columns. On the whole, let me run both the select queries at a time. If you see both, the EMP2 table contains, EMP2 table contains two records. Employee ID is one. The second record employee ID is nine. When you come to the second table, employee ID is two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. If you really observe closely, the common employee ID or common data between these two tables is this record, ninth record. Honey, honey is a common record between these two tables. And even if you see salary is same, joining date is same, department number is same, job code is also the same, and uh, manager ID is same, and the bonus is same and the gender is also same everything is same now let me run a union between these two tables simply let me put union in between these this is how you need to put a union between these two table select queries so let me run so ideally table one the first table contains two records the second table contains eight records totally two plus eight ten records if i club the total count of the records in between the two tables irrespective of distinct let me run the union if you see here as i sum when i apply a sum between the row count between these two tables i got 10 but when i apply union i got only nine records it means that as we know that one duplicate row exists between the two tables so when we have a duplicate it gives you the single row it gives you the distinct row that is the reason i got only ninth record only one time nine honey salary 6700 and other details as well let me apply union all for the same tables you can observe the difference now here so let me copy and paste the same query instead of union i am making as a union all so if you see the query this is a union query this is a union all query so let me run this ideally Employee 2 contains how many records? 2 records. Employee table contains 8 records. So when I told you while explaining union all, union all simply clubs the data irrespective of duplicates. Let me run union all in between these two queries. Let's run this. So now you got the maximum number of records is 10 here if you see this. Simply, it's simply showing 2 plus 8, 10. And if you really observe the data here, I have two duplicate rows here. One is this and this one. When I go to the union, so it, it's giving only distinct value from a query. So this is how I am going to differentiate between union and union all. So let me conclude on the whole is union statement is effectively works on the removing the or identifying a distinct values when you go to union all it does not make any uh, distinct it gives you the simple result set and one more thing if if you know that both the table gives you the unique both the table contains a unique values then better to use union all if you already know that table one and table two when i even if even after clubbing if you see both both the table contains a distinct values then better to use union all because union all gives you the faster results but if you simply if you want to validate those rows during the query then better to use union so that's how i'm going to differentiate between union and union all so that's it about 
टूडेज यूनियन वर्सेज यूनियन ऑल फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल यूनियन वर्क यूनियन वर्क लाइक ए डिस्टिंक्ट बट डिस्टिंक्ट वर्क बिटवीन द टेबल नॉट इन साइड द टेबल बट वेन आई गो टू यूनियन ऑल इट सिंपली क्लब्स टू प्लस एट टेन रिकॉर्ड विच आई शोड यू इन रेस्पेक्ट ऑफ डुप्लीकेट रिकॉर्ड इन द यूनियन ऑल सो दट हाउ वी नीड टू वर्क ऑन दिस नाउ यू नीड टू डिसाइड where exactly union has to be used and where exactly union all has to be used as i told you union all gives little good performance than union so now you can decide based on the data which you are getting in your requirement so that's it about union and union all so thank you for watching if you have any questions on sql server msbi power bi please write a mail to training2sql@gmail.com or you can comment your sections in the youtube comment section i'll try to answer as soon as possible thank you for watching